The bloody battle to retake the city of Mosul has entered its third week. And after intense fighting along the Eastern Front, coalition forces are closing in around ISIS fighters inside the city. Over the weekend, Iraqi Shia militias reinforced their numbers along the Western Front, sealing off the last escape route for ISIS fighters trying to retreat to Raqqa, their main stronghold in Syria. In the next phase of the offensive, coalition forces will have to dig in for house-to-house -house fighting in a city riddled with tunnels and rigged with IEDs. Seb Walker was with Kurdish forces as they pushed towards the ISIS-held town of Bashika, just miles from the front in Mosul. Near the town of Bashika, to the eastern side of Mosul, Commander Najat Abdullah is sending his men in to clear buildings of ISIS. He tells me the progress they've made so far has been painstaking. It's a tense journey. The convoy comes under fire as we pass some of the houses. The soldiers say they've located an ISIS base. So this is an area that ISIS held until very recently. These guys are just coming in to liberate it. And they want to show us something they found in the house. The fighters abandoned their positions here just moments ago, leaving weapons and even documents behind. This badge is from the Daesh Hinem Abu Saifa. That picture for the him. The white piece of paper is a stamped permission slip for this fighter to go on a two-month break. Yeah. So they go on vacation? Yeah, <laughs> that paper from the Daesh go to vacation. Inside the house, there's something else. Yeah. So they escaped? Yes. Did you find any anybody? I, I know looking. You, you didn't look? So I, maybe there's okay, somebody Okay, no problem. Inside. I can bag you. But just as we find another entrance to the tunnel... Just had a huge explosion. We're going to go and head outside now, but this is obviously still a pretty active area. It's an IED detonated just outside the walls of this house. The soldiers say ISIS is close. Let's go. Okay, so these guys, they're going into the tunnel now. They haven't actually cleared this area yet. So it's uh, going in with gun drawn and not knowing quite what to expect. The tunnel twists and turns, and suddenly we stop. IED. IED. IED? It's oxygen. Electric wires are everywhere. We listen for the sound of any activity. Okay. Okay, so there's gunfire coming from outside. There's more firing above. We go looking for another exit and find one next to the fighter's sleeping area. On their way out, the soldiers take what captured equipment they can. It's taken them all afternoon, and they've cleared just a few houses. As the convoy leaves, with none of the fighters killed or captured, there's always a risk they'll come back. <laughs> 